Well, it's Sunday morning. This is my last full day uh, before the dirt bag this Friday. So I'm trying to get it pretty much running today. Hopefully <laughs> it doesn't look like, like much right now. Most of the welding is done. I have to throw in, I'm just throwing in a tube for foot pegs because I don't have time to do anything for that. I got to hook up the wiring today, figure out the headlight uh, wiring and figure out the taillight wiring. I uh, still have to figure out an exhaust. I have parts coming out of Riley in a couple hours, hopefully, because that's my exhaust right now. That's all I have. <laughs> Give me a long day. All right, so it's the end of the Sunday before the dirt bag. And uh, as you can see, uh, bike's definitely not done. Um, yeah. Uh, the good news is I found out the dirt bag leaves on Saturday, which means since I don't work Friday, I have all of Friday to work on it more along with some time during the week. So we'll see what we can do. So it looks like I didn't get much done. Uh, I did do a lot of work on the exhaust. I didn't time lapse it, but I figured out the header was hitting the frame, so I got some clearance there. I made some quick slices and readjusted that. I've been wanting to put one of these on a bike for a long time, so I'm pretty happy with how it came out. It stays right in line with the frame. You can see my foot peg problem. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna make a bent piece that's gonna come out here and put the peg like in this neighborhood instead of over here. I was just gonna go boop and just put a peg, but the kick starts like right there. So. Yeah, I got the kickstand done, figured out. So that's working nicely now. So keep plugging along. Better look at that exhaust. It's Friday, dirt bag is tomorrow. My garage is a mess. This is my bike still, let's get to work. <laughs> And I just discovered my brake cable is pretty much totally garbage. I only have a front brake, so it would be ideal not to have this cable snap. Yeah, I've been going nuts for a while trying to figure out why I don't have power to to anything and then this open I realized I was in such a hurry I forgot to heat shrink these and then I noticed my crimp actually failed and my wire pulled out on the left side you can see it um, so there's my problem well that's good at least my switch is working um, I think and I'll fix this junk that feel when you're testing circuits for like 20 minutes straight and then after you fixed the bad connection, after you fixed it, and you keep testing continuity and voltage over and over and over and wondering why you don't have it still, and you've checked every connection over and over and over, and then remember you took the fuse out before you went to fix the connection. Ah! thought for a second uh, things might be going south, but uh, <laughs> they almost did. Um, trying to rebuild the carburetor because this thing's gross, and I had to actually cut this pin to get it out because this thing would not come out of there. Usually they just slide out freely. Uh, sometimes they get tight over the years. This one, I barely got it turning. I tried grinding a flat into it so I could get it with pliers, and I got it to turn, but it was still stuck. Ended up just cutting off the side that I could tell was tight. And then I used a punch to get it out. But I was like, man, I, if I broke one of those, 
as these are really small i mean these old these crack you can i've had a carb with a broken one of those before and i was like is this seriously going to come down to this is the stupid thing that's going to kill the dirt bag trip like <laughs> so now uh i thankfully got it out so i'm unfortunately going to have to sacrifice one of my gauge pins um, but I have the exact pin size. I'm going to cut it down, down to length. I already tried another car, but it was too small. So that's the one. I just got to cut it down and I'm I'm back in business. God, man. It's like six o'clock the day before, <laughs> before the ride. And this is my car. And this is still my bike. almost sort of back together uh first time carbs have been on with fuel and everything These filters do not want to stay on because there's no ribs on the outside of the carb because it's made for like an air box boot um so i've got a zip tie holding those and i hope that they can't back themselves off with that in the way that was that's been my fear for a while is that those air filters are just gonna pop off somewhere um yeah, this is the first time I've had gas in the bike. First time the carb has been in the motor. Uh, probably in like four years. I don't even know how long it's been sitting in my garage. Carb is rebuilt, more or less. So yeah, I'm about to try to kick this thing and see if it'll run. Uh, it should run, but I've never run it with the carb. I've only like sprayed starter fluid and started it, and that's it. So I have no idea how well it'll run. I have no idea if the carb's gonna do okay. I drilled the jets based off of a lot of reading and forums. Uh, so I don't know, it's 10 o'clock at night. and <laughs> The ride is tomorrow morning, still doesn't run at this moment. So let's give her a kick. I surprisingly don't see leaking, which is good. I think that's good anyway. Uh, all right, well, we're on run, and I think we're ready to go. <clears throat> Pull the choke, I guess. Please start. Please, please, please start. Let's see, Maybe I should have my hand on that. This thing's kind of loose. Bars are still loose. Stupid bars are not round, so there's like a they're egg, they're kind of oval shaped, so they want to like roll out of that tight spot. It's really annoying. I have to really like over tighten them to keep them from moving. Okay, come on. Will it fall off the stand? Is the question. It might. a little bit better.
so happy. <laughs> this thing is absolutely obnoxious. It's just rattling all over the place. Well, I think we're just about together. I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm missing. It is 1.15 in the morning. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's not... It didn't come out perfectly how I wanted it, but it's a lot of parts that I just had lying around, and all together I think it came out halfway decent. Uh... I'm really tired <laughs> and I think I'm going to take a test ride because I still have not ridden this thing at all. Um, it's super loud, but I got to at least ride it and know that this front end isn't just going to fall apart. So. <laughs>